Excellencies, Secretary General of the ITU, Director of the Radio Communication Bureau, ladies and gentlemen. As we have come to the end of this historic Radio Communications Assembly, I'll just take a moment to reflect on the significant achievements this week. There have been some large steps forward with the approval of the new resolutions on gender equity and the resolution on space sustainability, but also very many small but important improvements in a wide range of resolutions that drive our work. We have appointed a new slate of study group chairs to carry forward the work for the next four years, as well as for the RAG and the CPM with their essential functions. I want to, again, thank the ITUR for entrusting me with this responsibility. It has been very exciting, perhaps a bit too exciting at times, <laughs> and rewarding, thanks largely to the support, the cooperation, and the assistance from so many people. So first, I must thank the UAE as our hosts. The facilities and the services have been outstanding. Everywhere I go, not just in the conference, but through the city, people have been overwhelmingly helpful and kind, which is a lovely reflection on your culture and your city. I would like to thank the Secretary General and the Director of the Radio Communication Bureau for their trust and for their useful advice throughout this week. I thank my vice chairs for their advice and support. I must, of course, thank the committee chairs, Mr. Obama, Monsieur Risson, Nishida San, and Mr. Zuzek, and their vice chairs <coughs> for the enormous amount of work they have carried out in a very short period of time. And through them, the working group chairs who have done so much of that work at all hours of the day and night. I would like to thank the Australian administration for their support and encouragement in the lead up to this event. They were contacting me weekly, asking if I needed anything. I thank the interpreters who make our work comprehensible to everyone. It is very difficult work and I appreciate your effort and I apologize for not giving you these remarks in advance. I offer my deep gratitude to the staff of the Bureau. Thank you to all those councillors who have been assisting the committees. I'm not going to try to list them now for fear of forgetting someone, but please know that your work is recognized. I want to thank Carolina and Alethea who have been assisting us throughout the week. I thank the legal team, the security, and all those others who have made this meeting run smoothly. And finally, I must offer special thanks to my dear friend, Sergio, who has been working with me for some months to prepare for this and has been very solid and reassuring when things got tricky. So to all delegates, I wish you success if you are staying on for the World Radio Communication Conference, and I wish you safe travels at the end of your stay in Dubai. Thank you. Thank you. I give the floor to the director. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellencies, Madam Chair, Madam Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues and friends. It is my pleasure to address you at the conclusion of this memorable assembly. Significant accomplishments have been achieved and the outcomes of your efforts will establish the framework for the activities of the ITUR radio communication study groups in the upcoming four-year study period. Allow me to highlight some key achievements from this intensive five days. RA23 has approved a crucial revision to the text of resolution ITUR 1.8, which contains the working methods of ITUR. Notable topics addressed including the appointment procedure and the maximum terms of office for chairs of the working parties. Additionally, the RA23 approved a new ITUR resolution on promoting gender equality and equity, aiming to bridge the contribution and participation gap between women and men in ITUR activities. 
Both of these resolutions are the product of work that was carried out over four years in two RAG correspondence groups and finalized here at the RA. I extend my sincere thanks to everyone who has been involved in developing and agreeing on both resolutions. Carrying out another important mandate of the radio communication assemblies, RA 23 revised resolution ITUR 5-8, which established the work program and questions for the radio communication study groups for 2024-2027. Noting the importance of the work of the ITUR study group three, the RA 23 revised resolution ITUR 8-3 to promote the participation of engineers and scientists from developing countries in propagation campaigns in tropical and subtropical regions of the world for which there is a lack of data. Noteworthy is the approval of the new ITUR resolution on space sustainability, focusing on the work within the mandate of the ITU related to the sustainable use of radio frequency spectrum and associated satellite orbit resources used in space services. This will be supportive of further cooperation with other UN organizations and beneficial to the satellite industry. The RA23 approved a landmark recommendation outlining the framework for IMT 2030, as well as subsequent revisions to resolutions on the naming for IMT and on the principles for the process of future development of IMT 2020 and IMT 2030. Even a new resolution on the use of IMT technologies for fixed wireless broadband was approved. This RA also concluded successfully the work on a new recommendation on the protection of radio navigation satellite service by the amateur and amateur satellite services. Price has to be given to the experts involved to achieve this amazing result. Additionally, the RA23 discussed aspects of the CPM process and the resolution two to enhance the efficiency of the second session of the CPM. This topic will be further discussed consider, and is considered during the upcoming study cycle. The difficult work performed in the ITUR study groups requires dedication, technical competence, organization and managerial talent, and tremendous patience from the leadership of the study groups and their working parties. This RA sees the retirement of a number of our long-time dedicated chairs whose contribution to the ITU radio communication sector has been immeasurable. I can't thank them enough for all the, what they have done over many, many years. Acknowledging the challenges in appointing chairs and vice chairs of study groups for 2024-2027, ITU member states rose to the occasion. <coughs> Through extensive consultations, an agreement was reached considering the principle of equitable geographical distribution and ensuring highly competent chairs will lead the ITUR work in the next study cycle. Congratulations. While there are numerous other notable achievements, I will refrain from taking up more time, except to recognize Mrs. Carol Wilson, our highly talented and tremendously patient chairman of the, w, of the 2023 Radio Communication Assembly. Chair, I should say. Sorry for that. <laughs> you have my admirations for all your hard work. Your skills and experience, drawn from many years chairing Study Group 3, were crucial to bringing this event to a successful conclusion. I would also like to thank Sergio and his team, as well as the BR and ITU staff that work behind the scenes to ensure the smooth running of this assembly. A big thanks also to our host, who provided us with a warm welcome and with excellent facilities for our work throughout the week. Lastly, I extend my sincere thanks to all of you for your support during this 2023 Radio Communication Assembly. The spirit of collaboration and compromise, hallmarks of the ITU, was palpable during this array. I truly hope we continue in the same positive vein at WRC 23. We learned today from our African colleagues that rain is a blessing and helps bring consensus, so we will make sure that we will have a lot of rain during WRC. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I give the floor to the Secretary General. Madam Chair, Director Manjewicz, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as you wrap up the Radio Communication Assembly, 
um, after an intense week, you called it a memorable week, I think it was memorable indeed, uh, I would like to express my gratitude to you, the member states, to you, our sector members, and to all those involved, from the interpreters to the captioners, and of course, the ITU staff here, as well as in Geneva, for their unwavering commitment to this entire process. Let me, of course, thank our host country, the UAE, for your expert organization of this assembly, for your warm hospitality, and your seamless coordination, which created the conditions for collaboration and compromise, something I believe was needed now more than ever before. To the chairs and the vice chairs of the study cycle now coming to a close, to the outgoing, outgoing RAG chair, let me also extend uh, my thanks and my appreciation to you for your excellent contributions during this assembly and of course throughout the entire study period. I would also like to extend my congratulations to the new leadership of the ITUR study groups, the CCV, the CPM, and RAG, and of course I wish them much success in their new roles. Ladies and gentlemen, we stand on the cusp of the WRC 23, and I believe this assembly has shown the way. I take this opportunity to congratulate you on the new working methods, as the director has just mentioned. This makes our work more efficient, showing that the ITU is moving in the right direction. Let me highlight some other examples of what has been accomplished this week. Uh, we had, as our chair and the director has just mentioned, a groundbreaking resolution on gender equality, which really reflects the ITU, ITUR's steadfast commitment to enabling and supporting the active and meaningful participation of women in the work of this sector and in the broader radio communications field. We also welcomed a new resolution on strengthening coordination and cooperation among the three ITU sectors on issues of mutual interest. I think this is in line with our strategic plan to ensure that this great union is fit for purpose and fit for the future. The revision of the resolution, as just mentioned by the director, on reducing energy consumption for environmental protection and mitigating climate change through ICTs and radio communication technologies, I think is yet another step in the right direction on our path towards sustainable digital transformation. Of course, it's also quite timely with COP28 starting in Dubai in two weeks' time. And of course, this morning, you adopted a new resolution which answered the call of the Bucharest Plenipotentiary Conference, and that is the resolution on the role on, sustain on space sustainability, on the important role in the service of space sustainability. And as you said yourself, Madam Chair, this is a real milestone for the work of the ITU, and we look forward to further progress on the studies that will help to enable the most efficient, effective, rational, and equitable use of our shared spectrum and our orbital resources, as well as new efforts on safe and efficient deorbiting and or disposal strategies for non-GSO space stations and providing further support to members in the form of a new handbook on best practices. Delegates, your tireless dedication over the past five days has ensured a bright and promising future for the ITU radio communication sector as we look forward to the next study period. For those of you that will stay on in Dubai, I look forward to working with you very closely in the WRC. For those of you that are returning back home, I wish you safe travels. Finally, let me express my deepest appreciation to the Radio Communication Assembly Vice Chairs, to the committee chairs, 
to the working group chairs, and finally, and last but not least, to you, Madam Chair, the first woman to chair a radio communication assembly. <clears throat> Madam Chair, you have very ably led us to successful completion of this important assembly with great patience, as Mario mentioned, with great calm, and also very concise direction, which I think we all very much appreciated. And you have also brought us to conclusion ahead of schedule. Thank you for that. I now have the great honor of presenting you, Madam Chair, Madam Wilson, with the ITU Silver Medal and a certificate of recognition for your steadfast leadership that has guided us so well in these deliberations and brought us to great success. I would next, next like to give the floor to my vice chair, Martin Weber. Yes, thank you. Madam Chair, Secretary General, Director, Radio Communication Bureau, dear delegates. This week was an extraordinary experience for me and for all of my colleagues in CPG because we've seen this meeting, being able to bridge wide, wide gaps and come to conclusions and compromise. And this is something I hope we all can take over for the next four weeks uh, to the radio communication, uh, to the, sorry, to the World Radio Communication Conference. Um, <clears throat> maybe some more rain may help to get uh, results there, but uh, this is a different matter. I would uh, highlight the appreciation, appreciation for the study group chairs who chaired the study groups and other groups we are responsible for here in the last four years, and uh, as well as those now coming into terms or doing the job uh, continuously in the next four years. I understand that this is an additional workload for everybody. It is an effort for the administration providing these people because they are now in a neutral stage, so other people need to be brought in. And we need this dedication uh, to, our, to achieve our works. Um, I would as well like to thank all the uh, BR staff, uh, ITU staff, I have to say, because it's not just the BR, working here and in Geneva, uh, Tyler's, to make this happen. And this is uh, a very helpful for all of us. Um, but we could not achieve all the results we did res uh, achieve without this uh, atmosphere of welcomeness and hospitality here in UAE, in Dubai. Um, I would like to uh, echo all the uh, remarks which were made on this already speakers before me. It is a great pleasure to be here. It is a great facility and it's a very good basis to come to discussions with each other and bridge gaps and find compromises and I hope as I said before this will um, continue throughout the next four weeks. 
Um, with this, I would like to close my remarks and Oh no, I forgot one important thing. Sorry, Madam Chair. I thought I forgot to talk about you. I would like to have it at the end. Yeah, I re rearranged my list recently. Uh, Carol, I would like to thank you for what you did for this meeting and for uh, a lot of other groups. Your way of chairing meetings is very helpful and a good example of bringing the, the the meeting always back to the issue at stake to the point and this helps to find solutions and not distraction on side issues and this is very helpful and I think this is one of the reasons why we have this closing ceremony very early on this day thank you thank you again um, I now call on another of my vice chairman, Mr. Dusmanov, who has asked for the floor. Thank you. Спасибо, господин госпожа председатель. Я своим выступлением хотел бы от имени стран региональной группы РСС выступить и благодарить всех администраций региональных групп секретариат МС, генеральный секретарь, бюро ради связи, во главе с директором бюро. Большое спасибо принимающей стороне Объединенным Арабским Эмирату. Все было организовано на высшем уровне. И хотел бы особенно поздравить председателя Ассамблеи ради связи 23 -го года, мадам Кэрол Уилсон, с успешным проведением Ассамблеи. Мы были очень рады работать над вашим руководством. Я, в ходе работы были сложные вопросы, но мы еще раз доказали, что э, мы как большая семья, э, большой юнион, сумеем преодолеть любые трудности вместе. Мы еще раз доказали, что наши технические вопросы решаются на основе законов физики, и основ электродинамики. Я желаю всем плодотворной работы на Всемирной конференции ради связи. И наша группа, наш регион будет делать все свое хорошее для получения этого результата. Спасибо. I just want to say thank you one more time. And with that, we come to the close of the Radio Communication Assembly 2023. Thank you.